in Indianapolis, a popular animal, uh, animal, annual <laughs> could be party. That there are too. there's some sheep. We know that uh, it starts in Military Park. It's the 24th year of Indy Irish Fest. News 8's Brenna Donnelly is there, live with all the music, the food. There's dancing. Uh, okay, you're telling us about something called the Kilted Mile now, Brenna. <laughs> It's exactly what it sounds like, Kylie. Kilted mile, you run a mile in a kilt. So if you don't have a kilt, I think they're gonna let you still do it. But it's a great event on Sunday. They've got tons of awards. Obviously, the one who runs the fastest gets an award, but they have an award for the bonniest knees, the best dance move in a kilt, and then, of course, the best dressed kilt. And by the way, while you're running, bagpipers play to give you that extra motivation. Indy Irish Fest is going on all weekend. It starts today with food and music. There's sheep and rugby, uh, but we're gonna focus on the music this hour. And I'm I'm going to introduce you to Brian from the Irish Airs. Of course, three of the four with me. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Brian is from Ireland, from Dublin. Tell me about your group here. Uh, we are the Irish Airs. This is the band's 24th appearance at the Indianapolis Irish Fest, actually, which is, we're kind of proud of that. Uh, you should be. Yeah. Uh, but of course, they weren't all kids were a little too young at the time. But, uh, <laughs> we st it started off at the uh, State Fairgrounds and grew from there, and here we are back again. And you just love sharing Irish heritage with us Hoosiers here. How do we ce do we celebrate it right? Are we do it right. We do celebrate it right, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we've trained after 24 years. They, I don't know, you know, they should be able to do it. A quarter of a century of listening to Irish accents, yeah. and some of us might have it right at this point. <laughs> yes, indeed. No, it's it's been a great experience. One of the great things about this whole thing is the friendships that we find we form. Mm. Like when Ireland, I went to Ireland last year, and Chris, we went into a pub, and there were some musicians that had played here, and yeah. they greet us like family, you know, and that's that's really cool. <laughs> That's really it's one of the nicest things about the whole thing, apart from the audience, of course. Well, perfect. We certainly hope folks can come out and hear you guys play today. Can we hear a sampling you ahead sure of time? Can hear Let a me get out of the way a little bit. It looks like you're playing a, a here. It's a fiddle tune. Hey. Yeah. Chris okay. Can tell you that. Perfect. Saint Anne's. Uh, it's called Saint Anne's, and uh, the next second one is called Red Hair Boy. Awesome. Take it away. Again on wishtv.com. Tickets are five bucks. That sounds great. Yeah, the tempo too. Yeah. Any of those three falters a bit. I mean, they've Your all got to be right tapping. there. And yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh.